Hi, I'm Justin McConville, the leader of Health, Safety, and Environment at Onside Restoration. Over the past few weeks, we've received many questions regarding COVID-19 and people wanting clarification around different methods of cleaning and decontamination, and of course, the requirements for businesses reopening. One thing is for sure, the amount of information out there can be overwhelming. It is important to understand the terminology differences and do I have a plan to move your business forward as it transitions into the new normal. Not only is it critical to protect employees, but to also foster a peace of mind for employees, your customers, vendors, and anyone else who may be entering your workplace. Let's cover off a few definitions and explanation around general procedures used to assist you in making critical planning decisions based off the realities of your particular working environment. We'll start off with cleaning. This is the process of removing loose soils and preparing the surface or object to be decontaminated. Decontamination is the process of removing microbes on the clean surface, preventing them from spreading. If a surface is not cleaned first, then microbes could hide under the soils or oil droplets, thus reducing the efficacy of the disinfectant being applied. It's also important to note what fogging and misting is. Fogging and misting is the application of an aerosolized chemical disinfectant via a fogging machine to reduce the number of airborne microorganisms. It also applies a disinfectant to the surfaces that may be difficult to reach. We often see fogging and misting techniques being implemented alone to rid of COVID-19. It should be known that this approach should actually be used in tandem with a, a wet wiping method in order to ensure that disinfectant kills the germs and doesn't just sit on the soil or oil droplets on the surface. It is important to understand that fogging alone is not proven to rid of COVID-19 effectively. Most chemicals have a dwell time of 30 to 30 seconds to about 10 minutes of where the chemical is effective at killing germs. Oftentimes, a misting machine may only apply a very thin, even coat over surface that will evaporate or dry out before it be becomes efficient at cleaning those microorganisms or disinfecting. Thank you for watching. If you'd like any further clarification on anything you've run into, let us know. Should you require decontamination as part of your reopening plan or for more information about decontamination and other COVID-19 related tips, please visit our website at www.onside.ca. If you have any questions, email us at contact us at onside.ca or leave a question in the comments section below.